What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the last training guide for these Coppa e Football Italia players. We've already covered Ambrosini, Cafu, Canavero, Inzaghi and Zamorano. So if you've missed any of those, don't forget to check them out. Up next, we have got Salas. Now this guy, look, he's probably the weakest of the players. I would say him and Zamorano are probably the weakest of the players here that are on offer. But, you know, him, Inzaghi and Zamorano are very similar, except the difference in acceleration between Salas and Inzaghi and Zamorano is the slowest, right? So, yeah, there is a couple of things to like about this card, but I don't think that um, you'll be picking any of these guys. The big thing with Salas is that he has standard form compared to the other players, right? He does have very similar player skills, such as first time shot, one touch pass, and he also has long range shooting and heading. These players all are very kind of like carbon copies of each other with a couple of changes here and there he is very alike to Inzaghi which is why we're going to train him very similar to how we trained Inzaghi we've two versions of him right the first version is going to be kind of like a mobile kind of faster version um than we probably would need for this card like there is better look lads there's an old saying right you can put makeup on a pig but it's still a pig right and that's the thing with a lot of these cards don't try and turn these cards into something that they're not right if you've got a player that's going to take 15 stats to get you know average acceleration you just go off and buy a standard card that has got really high acceleration and then pair him up with somebody that has got the other stats that you need right you don't need two similar players up front if you unless you want to play the meta right if you want to play the meta it's a completely different conversation but for the average player that's looking to just play uh games and just you know um have different teams and stuff then this guy you know might be a bit of an interesting choice but i do think he is the weakest of the pack right so the first build of him that we have is just going to maximize his dexterity to get that offensive awareness and acceleration up as close to 90 as possible and have his finishing at 88 which is very close to 90 as well that gives us an 88 balance 88 offensive awareness 88 finishing and 90 acceleration so that's all you really need from a striker lads if you can't finish in the positions that you're going to be picking up with this guy then you know like you need to probably get into training mode and bang a few goals in you know so that is kind of like how i would train him up if you're just looking for your stereotypical mobile um striker you're never going to have good dribbling with this guy no matter what way you train him right even if we take right even if we take two out of this um or three out of this and pump it into dribbling to get that tight possession up we're still not going to be able to crack that tight possession up even if we take down the um shooting to 87 85 offensive awareness and 87 acceleration the balance is going to be a bit of a miss there and we've only got 80 tight possessions so you know pick and choose how you want to train these players depending on your skill level depending on how you want to play them right if you're going to be playing salas in a midfield or in a strike force um with a partner beside him such as mbappe you don't need as much pace and acceleration so that's why i would train him like this where you're just going to be all about like yes the acceleration is a little bit higher here compared to this one here with the dexterity or they're identical actually but the finishing is way higher right so you will have mbappe or a mario as your kind of like fast mobile player and then this uh, version of salas is going to be just all about finishing you know long range shooting keeping your opponent honest um by not knowing what you're going to do and i find as well lads when you are playing with a lot of these lesser known players that are not your neymars your messi's your mbappe's your sons your salas your Lewandowski's, your benzema's i can go on and on and on right you do kind of confuse your opponent because they're not used to playing against them, right? And I always say, if you are playing against a really top-class player, or else you're playing against a meta player that's just very assisted and playing the game automatically, right? You do need to make it difficult for them and put them out of their comfort zone, right? You know, that means a couple of tackles going in here and there. The ice cream machine is outside. That means a couple of tackles going in. That means, you know, actually disrupting his play. So Salas could do that as a, as, a, as a secondary role, right? But this version of him is all about shooting with the player skills and the shooting stats. So that is it for me, lads. I wouldn't really recommend this guy, but if you do have him, this is a training guide for those that did actually spin him. Um, my commiserations to you. But until next time, lads, we'll be back. Peace.